I don't want to keep you waiting, so I'll just put the really small tip that changed my squid game up the front uh, and then I'll play the rest of the video but basically getting a very small jig and moving quite a lot so in the past whenever I've gone out with squid I've tried for hours and hours with large three and a half size jigs but swapping to this minuscule yozuri has made all the difference I'm getting on to squid nearly every hour or so and like they're not big but the jig sinks very slowly and when you're in shore it's not very deep it's kind of the best way to keep the jig in their face but yeah hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video as much as i have enjoyed making it the tide is unfortunately ridiculously high this yozuri that glows and it's tiny but apparently this is the go the color the size everything this is sydney harbour squid dynamite apparently it's like it even swivels on the end. Okay, that's the sign of a nice jig. First catch. Straight out. Might go off the script a little bit and add some scent. Oh, yeah, we've got it. We have Eggy. Time for AliExpress, buddy. Don't you screw it, man. Bastard. Oh man, he's going. What a great, that's a great dinner size. Okay, well, squid number one. I'm glad I brought a plastic bag. The tactic I chose there is casting actually along the shore and just meant that I can target more of the weed bed that's sitting right up against these rocks. And um, because it's so shallow, a kind of steady retrieve, similar to how you soft plastics, it's keeping it just above that weed bed, which is where you want to be targeting squid, because apparently they hide, and then when they see something of interest, they come out and, uh, and grab it. Oh, yep, I can see another one, and it's on. Yes. What's a better one? Setup I'm using today, 2500 Stratic with 8 pound Berkeley leader. I've got this new blue current Yamaga Blank 8 foot 2, um, which I bought for a shore jigging, ultra light shore jigging. I'll um, move to the next spot and put a bit more scent on. Oh, there's actually a tiny weed bed just in here. That's it. Yeah! That did not even have the bloody the thing. You just grabbed it on the side. I needed to pull it a bit harder. Oh yes, grab it, grab it. Gotcha, gotcha. It's so small. Live bait, perfecto. This would just be like, mmm, scrunches. But not today. We shall keep moving. There's a big like weed bed just over here. You see nice big leather jacket down there. Oh, and the leather jacket is a keen on it. There's a couple of them there. Funny if I drag it. Oh I did. Massive, yeah. You fool. Jeez, he's got some big bites out of him. I'm gonna go around the other side. Um, there's a couple of guys fishing with like floats and bait nearby, which is fine, but it's just difficult to kind of get in and cast everywhere you want to. So I'm gonna move around to the other side, up on the beach over there, and there's a massive cob forest and uh, grass bed. That'll be promising this good ground. easier to deal with this when it happens so much you can do you just need to basically keep ripping line off until you get to that loop that's come loose strip it out without losing line or getting a horrid tangle someone actually on the channel recommended that you pull it from one of the guides and at the very end and then that way you don't end up with like a horrid loop
Oh, I think we just got onto one. It's about to happen. On. Yes. Well, this is your unlucky day, Mister, because it's too close to the uh, to the old dinner table. I think over this little weed patch in front of me. Kind of seemed like they were hitting it as they're like, getting across the top of it. Should be one or two more in there, I think. Yeah, and we're on again immediately. Lots of fun, jeez, I wonder if we can go into it with the three squid in three casts. And again, yes. That's got to be a record, three squid in three casts. Oh, you tried. You, you tried. You... Oh, I think I just saw something. Yeah. Oh. If I keep all these squid, I might just take like two of them, two of the two biggest. If I can catch a really big one, I'll be very happy. Ah, oh, I think that's it. There we go. We've got another. Join your friends. This is fun. This is lots of fun. We'll call that a day. Downsizing, honestly, just game changer. I never caught so many squid ever. I've gone out and tried heaps, and it's just never done anything for me. Um, so if you're in the harbour and you're looking to get onto some squid for a feed or as a live bait, dropping down to that two and a half size squid jig might make all the difference for you. Uh, regarding conditions, 1.9 meter high tide at 8 a.m. and I got my squid in a couple of different patches, normally within three or four casts across a weed bed. I kept it in really shallow, right next to the weed beds in front of me and right next to the rock shore, which kind of seemed to be where the squid were aggregating. I did cast out into the depths a little bit and I did get that last squid just down in front of me, but I think there is a weed bed in front of me, I just can't see very well. If you like the video, uh, let me know by liking with the button. Uh, also, a uh, big thank you to my Eggy Master who taught me about this change in technique that used to get him onto stacks of squid. He was kind enough to bring the jig to me when, back from Japan when he went over recently with his family. A uh, big, big thank you to Redacted, whose name will be Redacted due to privacy reasons.